Hello YouTube, this is Philip with Solar Power Electricity and Electronics and I was going to go ahead and show you this internal parts of this Aeon unit. You've got the uh, high pressure static fan, uh, there's the three phase variable speed motor, this is the two compressors. One of the compressors modulate for a reheat coil and one of them runs at full blast. The mo one of the modules is right there, I'm pointing at it, and then I want to show you how much electric heat is on this. I don't know if you can see how many is in there, but I'm going to... You see all the coils? This is one side, and the other side has the same as 96 kilowatts. And uh, you can see how this fan, this it'll, it'll rotate in that direction, and it uh, causes static pressure right here. So I wanted you guys to see what was going on with this real quick. But otherwise, I'll uh, show you about the reheat coil next. Okay, I'm back. We've got the unit up and running, but there's a lot of parameters that has to be gone through with the Aon install tech. Uh, right now we're doing the test of the refrigerants. Okay, it looks like we got uh, about 52 degrees saturation temperature. I uh, don't have a semester right there yet, but we will get it. This one set up, unfortunately, the uh, this is not my manifold, it's his, and he's got the uh, high side connected to the suction side which is backwards and then the, the liquid line right here connected to the uh, you know saturated pressure so you know, I, I don't know what to say about that uh, you know, the, the, the suction side of this is set up on the wrong side so the superheat is going to be like stupid crazy but uh you know, this is our power wire coming in, three phase, of course, it's 208 volts. It's got a transformer inside uh, right here, and that powers that switch right there, even when you turn the breaker off, so you can work on the unit safely. And then, you also got this equipment, you, that modulator is going to kick in and out whenever it pulls off inside. And then this compressor is going to run at 100%. You've seen inside of that case, you remember I had that case right there, so we, we put the door back on there. And we're running right now, and he's programming it. He left his uh, equipment hours away, so, I mean, it's not my fault. I don't know. He just He's trying to program it through this, which is more difficult. So we're looking at all the modules is getting powered up and energized. So this is pretty much it so far, and I'll show you the... Uh, other part of the equipment that's in the uh, for the evaporator and uh, the hot uh, reheat coil is at. So I'll be back here shortly. Okay, YouTube. This is the uh, condenser coil. Right now, you're seeing this condenser coil operating, and they're ultra sensitive to damage. Look at this little spot here. And oh my gosh, it's been nailed right there. Look at that. That is probably a guaranteed leak. Now you look around for damages before it starts up, you know, and you just try to find everything. And you can see we got two fans on the upper part of this. And you know, there's still stuff just laying on top of it. We gotta, you know, get this stuff off of it. Also, we got an economizer right here. of a door on the other side uh, of the uh, compressor housing where once we open that you'll be able to see where that fan is. I'm going to show you what that fan looks like. It looks like a really big turbine. Uh, you got a temperature sensor coming in, okay? Because 100% air from outside sucks through here and then pressurizes the building with positive pressure. And that forces uh, any hot air that could be trapped in the walls outside, which is super awesome. So if you're lo looking at this situation, it's nice to get rid of the heat, but it's incredibly inefficient because it gets 20 degrees or 10 degrees outside here. And you're going to be looking at a problem with temperature, you know, it's going to be getting super cold. And that's why they got 96 kilowatts of heat. Oh my God. 
that's 96 kilowatts of heat per hour. So if it runs for one hour, that uses more power than my entire house does for a week. Remember that. More power than my house uses for a week, and I run air conditioning too. I mean, this is a 20 ton, and I have a three and a half ton, but you know, in perspective, in the winter time, it'll use more power than my house uses for a week. This is the most inefficient piece of equipment you can get. But it really does good on pulling the job down. We're right now in some test modes. I'd go ahead and open this door. If not, you can see how much water is pouring out of this air conditioner. Now look at that. It's just pouring out. Um, this unit actually has a reheat pool. I haven't showed you that yet, but you'll see it. Uh, so you'll get to that part next. This is Phil 20. I'll be back. Hello YouTube, I'm back and what we've got right here is the uh, finishing product of this equipment. You may hear it buzzing back and forth, that's going to be the compressor going in its modulation mode in and out. It's going to keep the temperature up and down because I got this door open. Now this right here is our evaporator coil. It's a 20 ton evaporator, you got two circuits. This is one manifold going down, this is the other manifold going down. And all these pots going to uh, circuit with itself. I want to go ahead and show you. We got two thermal expansion valves that are 10 ton expansion valves. Here, here's one right here. I can't see if you can see, but here it is right here as well. Also, I'm going to show you there's another coil inside. Inside, there's another coil right here. My hand is touching right here. This is a different coil than that right there. So, this called your reheat coil and whenever uh, the temperature gets too low it's going to heat the temperature going back in because they want to keep it around 70 degrees it may go down to 50 and it may go back up to 85 but it's going to do its best to keep it at 50 so i'm going to go ahead and close this door and you can see our air filters here it's got 20 by 25 of them it's got six filters here's our uh economizer right here it'll turn on and off these vents which is a hundred percent outside air there is no filter inside the building so let's go ahead and close it there we go you can see that we're draining water real fast right here pouring out and we've got our filters that catch the bugs in the water spray and we've got our condenser coil, you can see our fans are running right now. So this is it. This is on top of Powell's restaurant. It's a big unit. It's, you know, not massive, but it's a big one. It's an Aon. So here's our model and serial number. And the cover's not closed. It is now. There we go. Covers closed. This is our doors. We put our bolts in the doors. We'll be done. We got bolts in this door. One of the bolts is missing for this one. And I think I seen a cap that the uh, Aon guy left off. Here's fan controls. 
there's everything tucked up nice and neat besides the uh, caps that the guy left off. He, left, he took his equipment off and didn't finish it. So this is Field 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. And I'm getting off this roof. It's hot. <laughs>